Making music is my therapy. Even when I'm writing for other people, you know, it's just tapping into pieces that maybe I don't get to address all the time. Even even a song like Sushi for Breakfast is something that like I'm quite shy and re reserved in real life. I think my artist persona comes off as super like vivacious and like I'm like kind of shy. So like I get to say what I want through my music. I would not be like, I'm not so forward, like hitting on girls and stuff like that in real life. So yeah, music, I think on a deeper level, it is really cathartic on songs like Think of Drugs or 16 about my mom. Those are real important pieces and real true pieces to me that maybe I don't get to talk about as much as I want. So now it gets to live forever in my music. And it really does feel like a release for me. What's up everyone, I'm Bailey and this is Logo Spotlight. I didn't study music growing up. I actually studied visual art and fine art. So I went to school since junior high, through high school, through college, I went to fine art school. So I was always into art and culture and the history and the impact of creation, but music kind of just fell into my lap. I started a band with my siblings and a few friends in high school. And we kind of had like a viral moment on YouTube because we were like these black kids from Brooklyn playing rock and roll music. We were doing like Black Sabbath and like Deep Purple covers. And so we started getting offers and I kind of made the decision to follow the path of music. And I dropped out of art school and I just went on the road. I started touring with my with my band. And ever since then, I, I kind of, I, I kept leaning in to the path of, of music and songwriting has now become my new medium of expression. I really didn't think I was gonna do solo music. That's why I kind of leaned into the songwriting path and started working more with my publisher. The writing process for me is very, very sacred. I think some people maybe like, like turning up in the studio and like being surrounded by people. I personally prefer really intimate spaces. Making music is quite vulnerable and I, I just like it when it's intimate. I really describe my music as a sonic journey. And so New uh, Stories from New York, my first EP, was the first insight into that journey for me. And it's just a sonic landscape of New York. Like I encourage people when they listen to that project, headphones in, walking down the street, and you're just vibing. And I hope that it takes you into this alternative new place and kind of helps you like escape. And I hope that you hear and feel the vibes of New York when you listen to that project. Right at the beginning of 2020, I dropped Sushi for Breakfast and that was my first release. It was almost like my public like coming out song. My friends know I'm queer, my family knows I'm queer, but my fans and my listeners that might have been following me from the band, they had no clue. So it's a really fun like club banger, but I'm so, so happy that the reception was so great because I was like shaking in my boots. Like I was kind of nervous to be like, okay, I'm singing about going down on a girl. Like, is that okay? Like it was a big deal for me. So I have so, so much gratitude that people really rock with Sushi for Breakfast. Stories 2, my upcoming EP, it is a bit of a continuation from stories from New York. The only difference is these songs or these stories were written in various cities. I want people to listen and feel like they're being transformed and put into this whole new space. I try to just play around and like take risks and try different sounds on this project as to kind of reflect like just that movement and being uncomfortable being in, in new places and writing in new places, not just in my hometown. I think that I've changed so much from my first EP to now this project. My first project was released at the beginning of quarantine and locked down. Life really changed. I mean, I went through a lot of really, really transformational experiences. One of them was losing my mom. I really had to grow and grow into myself and I'm still understanding where I'm at. And I'm such an artist that really believes in like the evolution of a human. And I don't know where, like what my next project might sound like, but this new EP is definitely a stepping stone for me. I think for this new EP, I, I try to shed a little bit more light. Sometimes I can be really, really heavy and like just sing about and reflect on like darker things. And so I wanted to make this feel a little bit more light 
as like my own therapy. And I think people need that a little bit right now. ACT UP I thought was a great lead way into the new project. It's really another queer anthem. It's really a song inspired, you know, by my relationship. And it's about loving how strong-willed your partner is, even when they're getting a little feisty. It felt fun, it felt loose, it also felt personal in a way that I've, I've never really been before. I want everyone in the world to get used to a girl singing to a girl. I was so conscious about that. Now being a little bit more comfortable myself and my identity, it just naturally comes out of me singing to girls, me singing about women. There's been amazing representation in the mainstream world. You have artists like Lil Nas X, you have artists like even a Kim Petras, Lady Gaga, Miley Cyrus, who have kind of, you know, shared things about their orientation or their identity. I think we still have a really long way to go, but I really think we're on the right path. I have friends, families, and colleagues constantly asking of it, asking me about, you're doing queer publications or you're always talking about, you're branding yourself as this queer artist. Don't you think that's gonna pigeonhole you? I really don't believe that. I think it's a big part of who I am and it's not the only part of who I am. There's a lot more to learn about me as an artist, but it is an important thing for me in this time. I'm starting to love that about myself and that's why you know, I like to sing about it and I like to be within those communities. I want to really be a queer artist that is able to transcend and cross over into the mainstream in a real way. So Grammys and award shows and Billboard Hot 100, you know, all of those are my goals. And I just hope to be the artist that can represent for the community. My new EP, Stories 2, is out now everywhere. Go get that.